All right, this is my first grocery haul of 2023. Um, it is January 1st. I had to run and get some stuff because I still have some cookies to make for my husband to take to work and I was completely out of flour. And what was the other thing I needed? Oh, vitamins. I needed to get vitamins because um, we were out for the baby. So I just did my grocery haul for the week and hopefully I won't have to go back this week. So I ordered three of the big creamers so that we would have enough because I probably won't be shopping again for like a week and a half. And they didn't have that, so they substituted with six little ones, which is fine because it's the same amount, but it costs $2 more to substitute, and I'm not happy about that because, like, that's two more dollars out of my grocery budget just because they didn't have it in stock. Um, I'm disappointed that now when they substitute, they charge you the higher price. It's whatever, but, you know, it just was a nice thing that they did before. Um, I picked up a whole variety of noodles because we were completely out. I asked my son to go grab noodles yesterday or two days ago, and he said all we had are like long noodles, like spaghetti noodles and fettuccine and linguine, and we only had these left, and I used them, so I had to restock on that. Um, I got three milks just because... Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be going out for about a week and a half, so hopefully that'll be enough. Otherwise, I will have to go out again. I picked up these because I would use this for some of my meal prepping stuff. And then I got two 10-pound packs of flour, but one of them's ripped open, so I got to file a return on that, and that's disappointing. Um, and then uh, I have lots of cookies to make. That's why I got so much flour, but man, it sure goes quick. And then I got hugs for the kids' lunches, but then this is ripped open too. So hopefully it's not missing any because I've had that happen before where it was ripped open and it's missing some. But um, hopefully it just, you know, like maybe somebody grabbed it like this and it ripped open. Hoping it's fine. But anyways, that's the whole haul. This was just over $50. I'll put an actual total maybe like up in the corner because uh, this is going to be a longer video. But this is the first haul of 23, and it was right around like 50 or $52 or something like that. So not much there. So I had some summer sausage left from New Year's that we weren't going to eat. So I took that and I threw it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. And I fried it up with some peppers that I had in the freezer. And I just mixed that together. And then I put um, some pasta in there. I used the big rigatoni pasta. I saved out some of the pasta water and I threw in some, it was not like a pepper jack, it was like a cheddar jack or something. Um, I threw that in there and let it melt and then I mixed in some heavy cream and made like cheese sauce for this and I poured it over everything and mixed it together and this turned out really good. Um, this cheese, this was actually the second time that I made this. This cheese sauce was not as good as the first time I made it when I used a milder cheese. So I'll have to remember that for next time, but it was still really good. It was um, a good use of the summer sausage too. So we all decided we liked this and I'll be making this again. On this night we did tacos. This is a favorite in our house. Mm. Is that yummy, baby? Mm-hmm. This was the leftovers from our taco night. So I've got beans, meat, and rice. I've got a couple tomatoes I'm thinking about chopping up and just throwing in there. And then I've got some of this cheddar cheese squeeze. I'll probably just squeeze some in and see if it's, you know, gonna work in here. I'm sure it'll be fine. But I'm gonna mix this all up and just turn it into freezer burritos so that we can have those on hand for the kids' lunches or whatever. And then I don't have all the leftovers in there. These burritos turned out really great. Um, I really like taking the leftovers and making freezer burritos out of it because then I don't have to try to think about my leftovers and I have things in the freezer for the kids to grab for lunches on the weekend or whatever. This is also a really nice way to fill your freezer is to just take your leftovers and kind of redesign them so that you can put new things on in your freezer. Um, I know my daughter, for one, really likes the freezer burritos. Like, if we have something she doesn't like for dinner she can just grab this but I don't have to do a whole big freezer prep when I just put things in the freezer throughout the weeks 
All right, so out of those leftovers, I got 22 little burritos. These will go right in the freezer for lunches or for leftover days or days I don't feel like cooking. Um, that's not too bad. Pretty happy about that. So on this night, I made egg rolls. Um, I just used turkey and coleslaw mix, and I wrap them in a wonton wrapper. And these turned out so good. My husband was so happy because we haven't had these in a while. This next dinner is sheet pan veggies with a creamy spinach chicken that I make. Um, it's really good. I paired it with some rice. I basically just mixed um, spinach and cream cheese and stuffed it inside of the chicken and then put cheese over the top and then bake it. Pasta. So good. This night was super simple. We just did macaroni and fish sticks. All right, this is the grocery haul from the first store. I picked up four, um, I don't know what these are, cases, six packs, four six pack bottles of soda. They were on sale for four for 10. So I grabbed a squirt, Dr. Pepper, and a sun kissed. And then coffee was on sale, so I grabbed two of those. Um, it's Sushi Wednesday, so I grabbed two sushis, and then my husband and daughter and I like to split those. I got raspberries. The halos were on sale for, I think it was $3 for this three-pound bag. And then this was the freebie today. So this was like a, I think it came up $6.99, and then I got it totally free because, I don't know, they just do that sometimes. So all of this was... 40, 44.51 from this first store. All right, this is the Walmart haul. So some of it was grocery pickup and some of it I went in for. So we've got pizza for Friday night, pepperoni and a supreme. I picked these up because I wanted some sort of like low calorie snack. So I wanted to try those. Um, I got these cause you know, flavored water is better than regular water. I got these for the kids' lunches. We got diced peaches and pineapple tidbits. Um, I got those just for snacks. And then I've got taco shells. The last time we had tacos, we were completely out of crunchy shells. Um, so I wanted to try the Taco Bell ones. I got that for salads because I was out. I got these just for snacky stuff. That's um, like kids' lunches kind of thing. Same with those. Got a couple creamers, and then I grabbed a sugar-free creamer because the calorie count is way lower. That's 20, this is 30. But I use a lot of creamer, so it adds up quick. And then I picked up ham and turkey for sandwiches. We got one two-pack of cream cheese. I grabbed some um, raw shrimp because they were on like a rollback or whatever. I got a plain yogurt because I'm going to be making some yogurt and I got to start with plain yogurt for that. Three blocks of sharp cheddar cheese. I got a bunch of bananas, an eggplant, um, two of the yellow squash. I got the baby arugula and baby spinach that was on clearance. They didn't have the baby arugula with the baby kale and I like to mix those so I was a little disappointed in that but whatever. Then I got butter lettuce to supplement this because they didn't have the one with the kale. I grabbed kiwis because those were pretty cheap today. I grabbed two things of strawberries, uh, some green grapes. These were the only ones that were like hard. We only like them when they're like rock hard. And then I got these for snacks or lunches or whatever. So that's the Walmart haul that was like one, I don't know, 130 and some change, but I'll put the total up somewhere on here. Oh, and there were two gallons of milk, but those already went in the fridge. This is the last store. This was all from Aldi. So I picked up red onions and yellow onions because we were basically out of onions. Grabbed a bag of lemons because they were super cheap. Blueberries, another pack of raspberries, um, sugar snap peas because they just looked really good. The green onions were really cheap. Uh, zucchini. These looked really nice. I didn't realize I grabbed like two different kinds because this one's organic and this one's not organic. So um, I just wasn't watching, but it's whatever. The mangoes were like 69 cents. That was really cheap. Tomatoes, cher uh, cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes. 
And then I picked up some peppers. They had cherries on sale, so I was happy to get that because you never get cherries in the middle of winter. I got shredded lettuce for our taco night. I picked up spaghetti squash. It has been probably years since we had spaghetti squash because it's so dang expensive. But they were pretty cheap there. It was like um, 89 cents a pound or something. So I was really happy about that. I grabbed some of these just because they're good. And then I grabbed a bunch of bagels. So we got everything, pumpkin spice, Harvest, which I think is a seasonal flavor. And even the lady at the register was like, I can't believe we still have those. So it says they're still in date. I hope they're not stale or anything. They feel fine. Uh, blueberry bagels and plain bagels. So that was the Aldi haul. And that is all the groceries from today. And then I'll put a total up here for what everything was. Here is dinner tonight. We've got chicken, fries, corn, and then we've got some pineapple. And then my husband and I are having chicken sandwiches. Taco night. Woo! Yummy! So good. So delicious. Got two pounds of strawberries. These were actually cheaper than the 12 ounce ones. I got two of those. My kids have been loving having fruit with dinner. I got um, a little a pound of mild sausage for pizza night container of sour cream, a pack of singles, a couple cheddar cheeses, some peppers, um, four cans of chickpeas, one can of pineapple tidbits, a thing of sliced mushrooms for pizza night too, a couple of tortilla packs. We were completely out and that never happened, so I had to get a few of them. Then I picked up two creamers, and that's the whole haul these my husband picked up they were on the counter at his work for free um there's three of them i'm not sure what to do with them i thought i read once that they're kind of similar to green beans but i'll have to look it up and see um how to do something with those because i'm kind of unsure about those so that's the little haul i'll put a total up here and then i'll have a total like a running total for everything for the month so on this night, um, I cooked up the spaghetti squash. I actually did that a couple days prior to this. And then I pulled out some um, green pepper, these sugar snap peas, and mushrooms that I had in the fridge. And I threw all the veggies together. And then I warmed up the um, spaghetti squash in the oven. Here's dinner. We've got spaghetti squash, and I made a garlic butter sauce for it. These are scalloped potatoes that were like frozen pre-done ones. Uh, Parmesan chicken and a bunch of sauteed veggies. Looks delicious. It's dinner tonight. We've got the sausage, like those sausage ring things, rice, and corn. All right, tonight for dinner, we're having homemade pizza with homemade mozzarella. I've been playing around with making my own cheese. Um, so this was my first few attempts. So that's why it's all kind of, it all looks a little different. But uh, it looks good. All right, it is January 24th. First, yeah, January 21st. yes, January 21st. Um, I ran to Walmart and picked up some milk because we are dangerously low, and I've got a toddler, he drinks a lot of milk. And then I grabbed some popcorn because I was out, and that's my late night snack on some nights, so I grabbed some of that too. So. Okay, we're having potato soup tonight. I got some crusty bread. This batch turned out amazing. I can't wait to dig in. For dinner tonight, I've just got um, Alfredo going, it'll be chicken broccoli Alfredo. And then I had some brown bananas, so I've got banana bread going in there. And I've got some cottage cheese that was gonna go bad. So, in some of this, I'm making lasagna with this pastrami sausage. So I've got the stuff ready to go for that too. It's dinner, I've got chicken, broccoli, alfredo with some bread on the side. It looks delicious. The sauce turned out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna dive in. All right, so this is my grocery haul. This was the pickup order from Walmart. I got hamburger buns. I got three of these French breads so we can do French bread pizza on Friday. I got four bags of broccoli because we were completely out. And then I picked up some of this um, high protein yogurt. Um, I did have uh, two other kinds, but the one was out of stock and then they substituted a strawberry for the vanilla. And then I grabbed these. Uh, lemon tart and salted caramel just to try. I got two blocks of cheddar cheese, 
to two packs of cream cheese, sour cream. I got a box of cookies. It's my daughter's birthday, so she's gonna take those to school and they don't allow like um, homemade things anymore. And then I got three gallons of milk and two creamers. So I'll put the total there for that. And then I've got some stuff I grabbed in store. All right, this is the stuff that I went in store for. Um, I generally like to pick my own produce. So they had these halos. They were two for $8. So it was a five pound bag for $4. So that was actually just a little bit more expensive than the three pound bag. I got two bunches of bananas. I got some green leaf lettuce because we're going to have sandwiches and we like lettuce. Um, I got two big tomatoes for sandwiches and then I got a pack of little grape tomatoes because I like those for salads. Uh, I actually got two packs of strawberries and then I picked up this. Um, they haven't had this one for a while and I haven't been able to get it so I was really happy to see it today. And then I picked out some grapes which I think feel like they're pretty hard. Um, we really only like grapes when they're rock hard, so hopefully those are good. And that one I have my recipient for, $28.38 for all of that. At one of the grocery stores I went to, they had these little carts, so my little man was shopping with me, and he was so cute. This is dinner tonight. I'm doing French bread pizza. Um, I'm using some mozzarella that I made, but it got too runny, so I put that down like as a spread on some of them. And then um, I just used up the rest of the ingredients that I had. So I had some pineapple in the fridge and then some pepperoni. And some of them are just cheese and some of them will just be cheese without the spread. So it's kind of all variations, but we used up a bunch of ingredients we had and they look really good. So we'll see how they turn out. Came out really gooey and melty and cheesy. The kids are saying it's delicious. Hot cheese. We got some unlabeled sauce. Sack of sauce right here. Mmm, these are pan nicely with the unlabeled cans. We have three of them. All right, well, she's swiping the Arizona tea right now and leaving, so. <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. It's been real. <laughs> At Piper Rose on YouTube. Love you. Love you. All righty. This is the haul from the pantry where I go you pay $25 you get a food haul and then they donate that to the food pantries in the area it's a surprise what you're getting so we're gonna see what we got right off the bat I got three containers of disinfecting surface wipes there you go put those away <laughs> I got whoop. looks like three containers of cottage cheese I got egg fettuccine pasta, gluten free. All right, I've got a strawberry cottage cheese. I've got some, oh, sea salt pretzel rounds. Those look fun. Here, throw those in the pantry. Uh, Rotel. This is a bag of McRib sauce. I don't like McRibs, so I'll see if somebody I know wants it. But weird, I mean, that's cool. Mystery can. Stacy's Pita Thins. They're uh, Thin Mint flavored. That'll be interesting. Got a box of these Chewy Yogurt Granola Bars. The kids like those. Oh, more mystery cans. Let's see. I don't know what this is. Oh. Cool. These are, I'm assuming they're applesauce. Apple, carrot, beet, ginger, flaxseed. Yeah, they're like the applesauce packets. Here, throw these in the fridge. Let's see. Oh, we got some of these last time too. These are smoked broths from Johnsonville, there's a whole box of them. What's up? Okay, I got two of these juices. Um, ooh, this is Frappe Mix, it's uh, Hollander. That looks yummy. Maple and brown sugar oatmeal. 
a little cheese sauce, a whole bunch of these mammut. I don't know what these are. Let's see. Oh, they're like little marshmallow cakes. Got some fries. Got some looks like half brown sticks. Bunch of cheese packets. Interesting. And keeper. Holiday cookie keeper. I have never had keeper before. Well, cool. there's three of those. So that is the whole haul. It was $25 and looks pretty interesting. All right, so here I'm just taking my fancy little board and crossing off or erasing, erasing last week's plan and writing down this week's meal plan. Um, if you watched my video on making meal plan really simple, I can just write down what I have. I'm about four months ahead on my meal planning. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. Um, it's pretty much takes the guesswork out of all of meal planning stuff and it was a good video. So go ahead and watch that. I'm getting everything written down and then I'm just planning so I know what to prep for the week to make everything extra simple for myself. On this night I was making burgers and I thought if I'm making burgers I'm gonna make like 50 burgers. So I took out 10 pounds of meat, I mixed together 5 pounds of ground beef, and then I think I had a pound of turkey, a pound of whatever this was, probably venison or something. It was a pound of ground pork and a pound of ground chicken. And uh, I thought there was a pound of something else. I don't know. But I ended up with 10 pounds of ground meat and I mixed it all together and it worked out really well. Like the flavor was really good and it made it far less greasy than just using the ground beef. And everybody said that they were really good. So I was happy I did this. And then I put um, 24 burgers into the freezer so that I don't have to make burgers again for a while. So just like the burritos, this is one of the ways that I fill my freezer is if I'm making burgers, I make a ton of burgers. If I'm making tacos, I take the leftovers and I make burritos and it really makes things nice because then I can fill my freezer and I don't have to take a whole day to do freezer meals. To this mixture, I added garlic powder, the Lowry seasoned salt, um, minced onion, and this mango seasoning. My husband really likes that and I just mixed it all up and I did forget to put pepper into the mix but I just sprinkled the pepper on top when I cooked them and it worked out just fine. So here's our burger spread. We've got the burgers, tomatoes, onion, lettuce, cheese, mayo, ketchup, buns, and then I just made some fries on the side. These are the McCain's frozen fries that take five minutes. I like those a lot. So here I am prepping for the fajitas. Um, I just took peppers and onions and chopped them up and I had some peppers left like these are the little snacking peppers that my kids like to eat. These ones were left and nobody was eating them so I chopped those up too. And then I found some steak in my freezer that I got on clearance or sale or whatever. Um, so I wanted to use that up so I chopped that up too and just threw it all into a bag with the seasoning and then fajitas were ready to go for our fajita night. My daughter had a birthday in January so she picked her birthday meal which was tuna casserole and then I've got some cute pictures from her birthday. She had a bee theme which I thought was really cute. So on the last day of January yesterday we had the fajitas for dinner and those turned out great. It was so easy. When it came to be dinner time, I just literally opened that bag and dumped it right on to the sheet pan and threw it in the oven. Um, they really turned out great. I will definitely be doing that again. So make one last stop for three loaves of bread and they were on sale for 79 cents a piece. So the final total was $4.57.15. Um, I feel like that's high. I think that we can do better. So my goal in February is to be less than that for groceries for the whole month. Um, and I think we can do it. I think it's very doable. So that's what's going on for that. Just let me know how much you spend on groceries in a month. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.